welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. I know you're so excited about this. I am. <laughs> Are you nervous? A little. A little? Me too. <laughs> and this is like 16 years of doing this, so, you know, it, it never goes away. All right, so introduce yourself. I am Jennifer King. I'm the director of Douglas County Juvenile Programs. Newly appointed. Newly appointed, yes. Yes, so we'll talk about that in just a little bit and what you guys do okay. uh, for juvenile court and uh, located in the courthouse. Yes. We're just right around the, the corner from each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a lot of things in common that we'll talk about. Okay. Uh, but first, <laughs> if you've watched this show, you know that Jennifer has no idea what we're cooking today. Is that true? That is true. That is true. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove what we call the uh, beach towel of deception <laughs> uh, and reveal the ingredients and give you an opportunity to try to guess what we're cooking today. Okay. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right, here we go. And I'll help you out a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. And you can move stuff and take a look at what we got. And I will tell okay. you, there, there's a theme. There's a theme. Can you guess what the theme Hawaiian. is? Hawaiian. <laughs> but what kind? King's Hawaiian. Oh, Jennifer that's King. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so the theme is King's Hawaiian. We're okay. going to be doing three different things with the breads. We have three different kinds. See if you can oh uh, figure gosh. out anything about these well, recipes. Well, I was going to say sliders when I first saw that, but we have three kinds of bread. Yeah. So basically, it will be sort of a slider, but it's going to be with the bigger buns. Okay. Uh, and we've got the pork butt here. That's what we're going to use for that. We also have a dessert. I was going to say, it's got to be a dessert, but... I have no idea. <laughs> so what Walnuts we're going to do. and brown sugar. Yes, I mean, you can tell that's going to be a great dessert. Now, we're going to be using this loaf of King's Hawaiian to make monkey bread. Oh, yay. Yeah, so I've never, I've never made monkey bread before, and I definitely haven't done it with King's Hawaiian. So this should be interesting since it's already sweet, the bread. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it just, well, it should work perfectly. And also with the, the pork butt, I had no idea they had King's Hawaiian barbecue sauce. Oh, I didn't either. Yeah, so I found some of that. That's uh, gonna help cook the uh, the pork and then we can use it also at the end to put on our, our sandwiches. Nice. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a salad and we're going to make our own croutons. Oh. Out of King's Hawaiian bread. Fun. So three recipes. <laughs> we got the uh, pulled pork sandwiches. We have the monkey bread and we have croutons. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right. We'll be right back. We'll talk more about juvenile programs and we'll get these recipes started. Our first recipe we're going to do is the pork. Uh, and I have pork butt here, is, which is a, a good cut for barbecue. Now, a lot of times people will do these on the grill slow smoke them for, you know, three, six, eight hours. Um, but what we're gonna do is something a little bit faster because if you wanna enjoy good barbecue during the week when you're at work, you can't really spend that much time on the grill. So I have an instant pot that was given to me by a good friend uh, for my birthday, one of the best presents ever. Uh, <laughs> and it is, among other things, it is a pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. And it will cook this meat very quickly. It'll probably only take about 30 minutes. Nice. So I, this is two pounds, um, and you usually do about 15 minutes per pound. So, you know, 30 minutes. We're going to make a rub to put on the meat, and uh, then we also have a sauce that's going to go inside of the pressure cooker to keep it moist and, and infuse even more flavors. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right. So. <laughs> The recipe I have is for um, four, six, eight pounds. So we're gonna cut it in half so we don't make too much of the rub. Uh, and we're just gonna kinda eyeball, because with a rub you don't have to be exactly right on. You can kinda fudge it a little bit. All right, so first thing is the brown sugar. So that's right here. We'll need a half a tablespoon. 
So you just use the tablespoon and eyeball it. You use about half of that. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and start with the chili powder. It calls for three quarters of a tablespoon. And of course we're cutting it in half. So obviously that's three eighths. I mean, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just gonna take the quarter teaspoon here and spill it all over the place. That looks good right there. That was a hefty quarter teaspoon, so that's probably about what we want. All right, get done with that. Over here. Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. We're also gonna need a tablespoon of paprika, or a half a tablespoon. That's right here. So about the same amount of paprika. Uh, and my next ingredient is oregano. Calls for, uh, in this case, an eighth of a teaspoon. So that'll work right there. Get this out of the way. My next one is cayenne pepper and it calls for the exact same amount, about an eighth of a teaspoon. You ever make a rub before? No, I don't think so. No, see? <laughs> New I territory. I do a lot of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got you cooking today. <laughs> All right, now you're going to need a full tablespoon of the sugar. And my next ingredient is a an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. A lot of strong ingredients in rubs because a lot of it. I mean, there's a, lot, a decent amount of meat. You got two pounds of meat. You need a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we will need about a full teaspoon or a tablespoon of garlic salt. And the last one for me, the last one on the list is ground cumin. And again, it is an eighth of a teaspoon. Once you put that cumin in there, it really brings in the, the smell. <laughs> I can smell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why it doesn't take that much. All right, so I'm gonna kind of mix that up a little bit. And get in here with my fingers. When you use uh, brown sugar, you kind of have to mash it a little bit, get it broken up. But it does a really good job of sticking to whatever you're putting it on. All right, so there's our rub. Again, it's a lot of flavorful ingredients. Typically I'll put salt in there, but since we use garlic salt, we don't need salt. All right, now I'll do the dirty part here. <laughs> Good. <I'll, laughs> I will apply the rub, and this will cook a little bit faster if I cut it in half and have two pieces instead of just one. So we'll cut that right in half. And as I am putting this rub on here, I want you to tell us uh, kind of how you got to where you are, including like where you went to school, everything. you know, everything. <laughs> we want to know everything. Okay. Well, I um, grew up in Tallapoosa, Georgia, graduated high school there, um, went to college. My college experience was, was a little different than most. I attended four different schools. Wow. Um, over a span of about <laughs> five years. What were those schools? I uh, started out at Barry College, uh -huh. uh, my freshman semester, only stayed there one semester. Went to Floyd College, mm -hmm. which I think now is Georgia Highlands, yep. for a little while. Followed one of my best friends to the University of Alabama for a year. Ooh. Uh, then came home and kind of got myself together and graduated <laughs> from West Georgia College. Okay. So my mom was very patient with me, <laughs> trying to figure out where I was going. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> and then I didn't spend a whole lot of time out in the workforce before I got this job. Uh -huh. I had an internship working with a juvenile court office in Harrelson County. Okay. And then I was hired on uh, by Jenny McDade in 1995. So you've been in juvenile court pretty much the whole time? The whole time, time yes. All right. So that makes us feel good that, you know, you got a lot of experience. <laughs> I do. All right. Do. And what made you want to go into that type of work? Really the internship, uh, I had no idea what, that there was a juvenile court. Right. And I fell into this internship by accident and fell in love with it. 
That's awesome. Um, so it was kind of weird. I was going to teach uh -huh. and totally altered my course. Yeah. Well, I, I taught too for four years and that was enough. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> I mean, I like teaching and everything, but it just wasn't my passion. This is really my passion. Mm -hmm. And that sounds like what kind of happened Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Um, now you have a family? I do have a family. Who's in your family? <laughs> I have a husband, Jeff, and a son, Skylar. And what is Skylar doing right now? He's a full-time college student at okay. Samford University. And he also has his pretty unique hobby he does. He does. He's a mixed martial artist. That's awesome. It is pretty awesome. Yeah. I've seen some of his videos on Facebook that you've posted. <laughs> yes. They're pretty yes. neat. He's had a couple of fights. You know, so. I mean, that's dangerous stuff. Does it make you nervous? It, it does. Uh -huh. But I've also watched and learned um, how he's learned what to do and, right. and his strengths and abilities. So, mm -hmm. so I'm seems, okay. He seems to handle himself pretty well in there. He does. He Very look, well. He looks uh, like a seasoned professional, actually. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get this into our pressure cooker. We have the King's Hawaiian uh, barbecue sauce. I'm going to pour that down in here. And I'm going to add a little bit more liquid. And I do have to add a disclaimer here. The recipe calls for a half a bottle of beer. <laughs> I did not purchase the beer with county money. <laughs> I have to say that. <laughs> so I'm going to grab that over here. Don't tell my wife I'm using her beer. All right, we're going to pop the top and pour about half of that in here. The pressure cookers require a certain amount of liquid, um, and then the meat will also uh, let out a little bit of liquid so it kind of all mixes together and uh, helps to get it cooked. You don't want it to be dry in there. It'll kind of burn the, the bottom of the, the pressure cooker. All right, so I'm going to get that lid on. I'm going to get it cranked up, uh, going kind of off to the side so it's out of our way. It's going to cook for about 30 minutes. And then it builds up pressure, hence pressure cooker. <laughs> uh, and it'll take about 10 to 20 minutes for the pressure to release. So it'll continue cooking for a little bit. So get that started. When we come back, we're going to go ahead and get our croutons going. Okay. That should be interesting. You can cut up some bread. Yeah. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm going to give you a knife. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> yes, yeah, stay tuned. This could get ugly. Our meat is cooking right over there. It just started. It built up the pressure, and now it's actually doing its thing. It'll cook for 30 minutes. Uh, that gives us plenty of time to make our croutons um, and get our monkey bread recipe going. Now for the croutons, uh, we're going to be cooking them for about 20 minutes on 350 in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and get the oven started, preheat that thing. And what we need to do, i got us two stations over here. We're going to take this loaf of Jennifer King's Hawaiian bread. <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to cut it up into little cubes. So I'll cut it in half and we can each take a half. And uh, I've never done this before. Trust so me with this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's not too sharp. I think you can do it. Okay. All right, I've never done this before. So me what I'm going to do is, you know, think of how big a crouton is. And I'm just going to cut a slice off of here like this and lay it down and then just kind of cut lines in it that are about crouton width and then turn it sideways, line it up and cut them into cubes. Some of them will be nice looking and some of them probably <laughs> won't but that's okay these are homemade exactly croutons so they don't have to be perfect there we go and if you have one that's really kind of messed up try it you can just eat it <laughs> now the recipe says to uh, put it back into the bag 
Oh. So we'll see if, uh, we'll see how uh, well sealed this bag is once we start <laughs> pouring liquid in here. These are some odd pieces. <laughs> Great reason to uh, take a taste. All right, so I'll hand that to you so you can add yours. What I've got right here is six tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to add melted butter, of course. I'm going to add about four tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm going to be eyeballing all this. I mean, you know, flying by the seat of my pants here. Mm -hmm. All right, and we've got nature seasoning. We're going to add two tablespoons. And that's about one. That's two. Add two tablespoons of garlic powder. One and two. Now we're going to be doing uh, Caesar salad. I have a I have a kit that I bought. You know, it's got the romaine lettuce chopped mm -hmm. up and everything. But we'll only be using the dressing. We're not going to use the croutons that come with it. Okay. We've got our own. <laughs> Want to do four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to do this the easy way. One, two, three and four, and that'll melt nicely with the, in the heat of the oven. So we get that nice and mixed up. And we'll pour it right in here. We'll see how, <laughs> how well this bag does. And then we'll just kind of move that around. So far, so good. I estimated that we'll probably need two pans, so I got those out. All right, Interesting. Take a peek. Hmm. Well, the top's done at least. We'll find out about the bottom in just a moment. <laughs> Do one more little pour here and mix. about half over here. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be good. Yes. <laughs> and I think we'll have enough. <laughs> Maybe. Spread those out. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh. There's our oven, it's ready. 350. Got enough room over there? I think so. If you don't, I've got some room over here. I kind of like the unnatural shapes of them, you know, they're a little different, <laughs> each yes. one. Yes. That's great. All right. So if you want to grab your pan, I'll grab mine. Put that in there. Go on for 20 minutes. All right. Okay. Uh, by the time those are ready, we should be ready to put our monkey bread in and that'll okay. give our uh, croutons a little bit of time to cool off. And then, God, I'm so hungry. After eat. smelling all this, <laughs> oh my gosh. We may have to just yada, yada, yada through this monkey bread so I can eat. <laughs> all right, so when we come back, we're gonna fix up this monkey bread and we're gonna learn about all the various programs that you guys have in the juvenile court. Great. We'll be right back. Ready to make some dessert now. Yes. Yes, and I'm very <laughs> excited about this. When I told some people that we were making this, I have had like five or six requests. Can you pull some to the side mm -hmm. so I can taste it? So I hope this doesn't disappoint. It's got great ingredients and uh, I mean, it's monkey bread. So we're, what we're gonna do is take the King's Hawaiian rolls and it says to cut each roll into about four to six pieces. So I'll take my half. To use my knife again. Yes, back on the knife. <laughs> and I'm going to choose to do six pieces for each one. I just want them small enough. So I'm going to cut it in half. 
and then do two cuts the other way for each one. And they can go in this bowl right here. And while we're doing this mundane task, <laughs> why don't you tell us about uh, some of the programs you guys have over in Juvenile. I know you have tons of them. We do. Um, one of our early programs that has been around for a while is intake is the best way to, to say it, I guess. We, um, any child, youth that gets charged with an offense in Douglas County um, for the first time mm -hmm. comes through our office. We meet with the child and the family, gather information, kind of interview as to what's going on. Right. Look at school records and things like that to determine what what services a family needs. Uh -huh. um, and we try to divert cases from court if we can. Mm -hmm. we, we really don't you know, want them to come to court unless they have to. Right. So we make a lot of referrals on those families um, and follow through with them for a short period of time, mm -hmm. you know, to see if everything's working. Then we have a CHINS program. CHINS is something kind of new to the state in the last few years um, that Judge Harrison is, has been very involved in and very supportive of. Mm -hmm. And it's those kids that maybe are unruly at home or they run away from home for a period of time. You know, kind of things aren't jiving between mm -hmm. child and parent usually. So we kind of treat them a little differently. Right. Same kind of process, meeting with them, figuring out what's going on and try to put as many services in place as we can mm -hmm. um, with those kids. Then we have one probation officer who works with youth with substance use issues. Okay. And she provides intensive case management for them, drug screening, treatment, whatever they need. Mm -hmm. We also have a family treatment court mm -hmm. that works with parents whose children are either removed from them or there's a possibility of removal based on substance use. Okay. So we bring them in provide services, monitor, intensive case management, mm -hmm. all kinds of supportive services rather than right. being like probation where you're kind of adversarial sometimes. Right. Um, and, and your drug court, the family court, uh, hasn't been around that long. This is a new... We've, we've had it since we first received grant money in 2007. Oh, wow. I yes. didn't realize it had been around yes. that long. We started operation, I guess, early 2008. Okay. So we celebrated 10 years last year Okay. with that court. Yeah, and I know that that uh, type of intervening is becoming more and more popular, yes. especially in our county and in the different yes. areas and different courts. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so do you guys have uh, opportunities for people to help? I mean, do, do you need volunteers? Do you need... Uh, money, you know, that type of thing? <laughs> a couple of things that we do with our family treatment court, we do have a nonprofit associated with it. Okay. So every year at Christmas, we gather a wish list for each child. Mm -hmm. um, their sizes for clothing and shoes, but, but it's real important to do a wish list mm -hmm. of things they want, right. you know, that ultimate Christmas present. Mm -hmm. So we collect donations, we do a tree at the courthouse mm -hmm. where you can pick off an, an angel as we call them right. and people can shop for them so that we provide Christmas. We also throughout the year look for donations for incentives mm -hmm. whenever they come to court which is every two weeks. If they're doing well we want to be able to give them something right. to praise them right. and it can be positive reinforcement. Yeah, and it's anything, you know, yeah. from lotions and soaps to gift cards, mm -hmm. you know, pretty much anything. Okay, and if people want to help out, how do they get in touch with you? Um, at the courthouse, we're on the third floor, kind of in the corner. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I'm there. I have, of course, email, phone, contact information. Mm -hmm. um, we are available on Facebook. Mm -hmm. The people that work, myself, um, Dina Davis is a peer support specialist for us, and mm -hmm. she's very much out groundwork, right. kind of working on donations and, and partners with other companies. So. Okay. And they can find some of the information, contact that kind of stuff on the county website? Yes, they can. We, we just recently <laughs> updated our page, awesome. so absolutely um, can go on that page and find us. Great. Awesome. So you can help out. Go to the county website. Uh, if you want to donate something for the incentives, 
uh, or get involved somehow, please contact them. Now, what we're going to do is bring this home. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Now, right. I'll, I'll do the dirty work. <laughs> uh, again, um, first step is to take our beaten egg and pour it over the top. And this is a hands-on thing, so I'll get my hands dirty, and then you can kind of add in as, as okay. we go. So I'm just going to mix this up a little bit and try to get the, the egg thoroughly incorporated. And now what we're gonna do is put a, about a teaspoon of cinnamon over the top of this, and that's a quarter, so you can do four of those. Ooh, let the dogs out. Somebody's here. <laughs> Okay, and the next step is we're going to add a half a cup of the sugar. So I've got a half a cup out there, and it already smells fantastic in here. Mm. Looks like our uh, croutons don't have much longer. That's a lot yes. of sugar. <laughs> yes. Love it. Smells good, looks good. Yes. Man, I'm, I'm feeling confident about this. Mm -hmm. I think this is gonna be one of those recipes that goes in my repertoire. <laughs> We've got all this incorporated. We're gonna go ahead and put it in our greased bunt pan. I'll do this just by hand here. Push it down just a little bit. Nice and even. And since my hands are absolutely uh, <laughs> coated, uh, we're gonna need about a half a cup of the chopped walnuts. And then we're also going to, the last thing we're gonna add is some brown sugar and the melted butter right over the top. Nice. I think we're timing this just right. The uh, Croutons will come out and this will go right in. It's going to go at uh, 350 degrees. Um, so let's add three quarters of a cup of the brown sugar directly to, yeah, I got you a half and a quarter, okay. which is <laughs> three quarters. Uh, we'll add that directly to the butter. Oh, to the butter. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pour that in. Stir it around with the, uh, the quarter teaspoon here. That looks great. Yes. This is not healthy. It looks good though. <laughs> <laughs> that looks amazing. It's gonna be so good. Oh, man. This is like a protein shake. <laughs> or the opposite thereof. All right, so you can just pour that right over the top evenly. Oh my goodness. Wow. That looks amazing. Awesome. All right. Now we'll just transfer because two, one, croutons are ready. So we'll <laughs> just take those things out. Let me wash my hands real quick. That was great timing. It's like we meant to do it. All right. The moment of truth. See if the croutons came out well. <laughs> they look pretty good. They do. Nice and crispy. Smell great. Look great. And this can go right in. And we will cook this for 15 minutes. So that means we're 15 minutes away from eating this amazing food. I'm excited. Me too. All right, <laughs> when we come back, we're gonna be testing this food out. Please stick with us. This may be one of the best meals we've had on the show. Yay. If we're judging by smell. <laughs> and I guess we should confess, 
we did taste those already, the croutons. What do you think? They're awesome. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. Everyone here loves them, except for that guy probably. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, so what do you want to try first? What, you want to just make a plate and then we can yeah. dig in? All right, uh, I'm going to get some of this monkey bread, which looks amazing. <laughs> Smells good, nice and gooey, and it just came out of the oven, so it will probably burn me. We've got Caesar salad for the, the croutons, and the Caesar salad was a kit, you know, it comes in a bag and it's got everything in it. It had the salad dressing, we used it. Um, the croutons were pitiful. <laughs> it looked like somebody put two croutons in a bag and smashed them. It did. It looked awful. And then it had some cracked pepper, but we have fresh pepper here, so use that. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Yes. There's our salad. Add some croutons. And these croutons are like a snack. They are. Might be a good tailgate snack. Yeah. All right, now I do have some other uh, barbecue sauce. I think I'm gonna go with the Carolina Tangy. <laughs> I'll go with this one. Moisten that up. All right, what do you think? You may want to do the monkey bread last, give us some more time to cool off a little bit. Yes. So what Save do you want to do? Save dessert for last. You want to go healthy and do the salad? Yeah, we should go in order, I guess. <laughs> and we, we have had the croutons, but we haven't had it with the, uh, the lettuce. Get them to stay on there. Mm. Yeah, that's the Small thing about awesome. croutons. You can't really stab them. Mm -mm. <laughs> they either don't puncture or they fall apart. They that are is so really good. good. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the croutons are, they have a little bit of um, garlicky, salty, but they also have that sweetness because of it being the King's Hawaiian bread. Mm -hmm. mm. That will become a staple. Those in are this awesome. House. All right. Pulled pork. <laughs> on the King's Hawaiian right. bread, of course, with King's Hawaiian barbecue sauce. Yes. And that was really good. Mm-hmm. And with the Instant Pot pressure cooker, this is something you can cook after work. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, doesn't take that long. That is really good. It is good. You're <laughs> tailgating. That'd be good tailgating for yes. them too. All right. And now dessert. Yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -mm. This is not good. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stop. No, I'm. Mm -mm. The next episode you watch, I will be fat. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so good. That is and really easy. good. That was really easy it to was. do. Whew. I might can actually do this. I think you can. <laughs> I'm going to have a talk with your husband. Okay. You're going to be in charge Wait. of dinner. But it's better when he does it because I can just sit back and... <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you know, give him a break. Okay. You promise? I promise. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank Again, um, we want to encourage people to get involved with their local community. So mm -hmm. the ways that they can get involved with you guys are? The donations, financial donations, um, our angel tree at Christmas that's in the courthouse on third floor, mm -hmm. or incentives for our family drug court participants. 
And there may be some other ways. Right. You know, we're always open to ideas and suggestions. Right. And uh, businesses might could get involved. Yes, you know, absolutely. Donations and again those incentives. Uh, and if they do want to get involved, how do they get in touch? The county website is probably the easiest way. Mm -hmm. My contact information is on there. Okay. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. I'm glad you came on. Thank uh, you. And uh, that's what this show is all about. You get involved in your local community. So find something, get plugged in, and do something great for the community. This is Serving's Kitchen with a Cause, and we'll see you next month.